shot glass tray, pressed flowers, glitter, and mica. Welcome to my channel, everybody. Hello, creators. How are you guys? This is a square tray that I have. Don't move, no. Um, so I found these flowers, the orange and the yellow, very pretty. When I was looking, no, move, no. Go down, baby. Come on. Come on, my little plugs. You gotta go down. Yes, you do. All right, guys. Where's my scissors? Where are my scissors? I can use these baby scissors. I use these preschool scissors I have right here. Okay, so we're gonna do yellow and orange and I have a gorgeous glitter to show you guys that I found and I love it. It's not in that giant pack of glitter that I showed y'all when I did my last tray, the pink one. Um, it's a glitter that I bought, I think I bought it at Michael's actually. So as you know, but I'll review in case this is the first one you watch that I've ever done. I always cut two sides and then I slide out, gently slide the flowers out. Okay, sometimes they stick a little bit. And no babies, no sticking. Now this is a smaller tray than what I did last time. So last time I did one of the long handle trays, okay, which are great. Uh, and it says, give it your best shot, you know, in here. This one is just a plain round one. What's nice about, the, it does have a shorter handle, but what's nice about this one is it's great for small spaces. It's also great if you have four people sitting at a table and you bring it and just want to set it down. I don't know if you guys can see these flowers, so I'm going to move them there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to remember that this is the bottom of the tray so of course when we take the tray out of the mold it'll have the shots it looks weird like that so i don't even know why i did that but okay anyway whatever i love these flowers uh they had them in the pink before they kind of look like little butterflies i don't know if you guys can see that this is definitely the front side. I love this flower, so this little beauty gets to go right there in the center. And then this one looks like, if you see that right there, there's a piece of baby's breath or something on it. So I'm just gonna try to get it off of there. There we go, it's off. Okay, so this is front this is the back front side down oh i apologize if you're hearing that terrible noise oh my gosh that's my washing machine i am um washing a rug right now sorry you have to listen to that okay so hopefully you can't hear it but you might be able to hear it i don't know i have the door open so the cats can go in and out as they wish otherwise they'll start meowing at me This one I'm gonna put real close right here because I want to take one of these. So pretty, it's got a little red in it. I hope you guys can see that. This is the front side, so front side down. And I think I'll go like that. Sometimes I move these around after I get them down so, you know, just know you can always do that. You can lay them out and then you can change your mind. This is a yellow one. So, I'm going to put it here. These are kind of big. This white. I don't know if I'm going to use the white or not. So, that was a yellow. A yellow. Okay, I don't think I have any other yellows. So I'm going to put this one there for now. Oh, yes, I do. Sorry. I have more yellows so right here. Kind of a yellow-orange. 
I like the color though, it's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one there. These are flatter than the ones that I had before, uh, last on the last tray. The last tray, the stems were just really thick. I think they just weren't chopped close enough to the edge. Oops, oh, I got a little, took a little petal off there, not paying attention. See if we can fix that. You can see there's a space right there. Okay, and I have some more. I have another orange one and another yellow one. This is this is bigger than that one. It's about the same. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like kind of scooching this one down a little bit, like that. Then I kind of feel like putting the orange one right there. Oops. Maybe not the orange one. Maybe a white one. I put a white one right there. You know what? These white ones are bigger though. So if I'm gonna do that, now I feel like I want to put a white one over here. So in that case, I'm gonna bring this one back up. These are very pretty. Look at that. Nice and yellow right there. So that's the back side. So front side, front face down. Now that one's a little thicker, see that? Wants to wobble a little bit. Okay, and then I think I'll put this hot orange one here. really cool in there. This other orange one here, it's pretty bright, very pretty. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll stick that one here. It's gonna go up the sides a little bit. This yellow one here where I lost a leaf, I can scooch it here and then where it goes up the side there where there isn't a leaf it's not going to matter it's going to be okay um oh this one's missing one too let's see another yellow one maybe i should balance it out over here on this side I'm turning it so that i can where that leaf is missing i can just put it right there Nobody's going to see that. Now we have this little lovely lady. There's one of the little petals that came off. Oh, I just broke it. Can I? That's why it's good to buy these flowers with the, <laughs> with those. Um, with the tweezers, makes it easier to get stuff out. Okay, so there's kind of a split there. So let's see if I kind of do it like that. It's gonna go up the side a little bit there. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna use this one or not. But now I'm gonna get into these cute little things. They're like little flowers, like little snow flakes or something. Very cute. So I'll just kind of put those in different places to fill. Maybe right there and right there. And then let's see, I've got two more. And I've got a couple, some baby's breath. Come here, baby. Come on, don't be shy. Sometimes you just have to hold it, slide it out a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's actually the front. That's the back. Hmm. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, put it right there. And I breathed on you and you moved, didn't I? 
Okay. And this little one, let's scooch it out to the edge. Let's take a look at it. Okay, this is definitely the front. It's got a little baby's breath on it. I'm just going to gently pull at it. There, came off. I'm going to put that there. In these smaller trays, you aren't going to need to use, like I am not going to use all of this baby's breath here, see? There's a big chunk of it. So I'm going to gently take it apart. Now you can see this one, look at that. Uh, these are really the only two flowers on here that are worth having, right? This is just stem. That's how I got it. That's how it is sometimes. So, whoops. That's just how it is. Oh, that thing just, oh my gosh, that flower just blew out of my hand. And I don't want you there like that. So we'll just lay you over there. And, uh, that might just be... Now, here, if you can see this, I'll put it right here. You can see there's a stem here and a stem here. And we don't need that. And there's also a little stem here. Now, you can't always get this stuff off. And if you don't get it, chances are nobody's going to notice it. But if you can get it, that's fantastic. See, like right there. There's nothing on that. And that's just how it is, you know. I'm sure they're trying to get these things packed and get them out. So, that's that. Okay. Uh, not a lot of difference there. I do think I want to have it kind of coming up there. Now, you see that will be hidden right there. I won't even bother with that one right now. This one is a bit of a funky mess. Look at that. It's just, you know, I can't say that was packed super well. I don't know about that. Same thing with this. It's like, <laughs> we got all this <laughs> really bent up stuff. But some nice big flowers on there if I need them. So, let's go back over here. I think I'll just cut this right here. And then that kind of freed it up. There we go. So, this is a nice little, nice little bunch. So, break this off. And um, let's see. I think I'll lay it here like this. And I think I will lay it this way. So it's coming up like that. So see how the stem is right there? A little bit of stem there, but it's poking up. The stem will be hidden behind the flower there. And that looks like the back, that looks like the front. So I'm gonna do it here again like this. Okay, and that's a bit long, so I'll pick it back up. Cut this off here. Don't need it to be that long. And just lay it back down there like that. I'm just gonna kinda pull these apart a little bit, take a little look at them, a little look-see. Yeah, look at that little funky, man. That is funky. I don't know how I feel about these, the way these were packaged. Okay. It's just by itself, this one here. So I'm gonna lay it right there like that. You're by yourself. Now, that's the thing when I put one in by itself like that, or it's two of them by themselves, they have a tendency to float. So, wherever it ends up, you know, that's where it's going to be. I don't have a lot of control over it if it's by itself. These are weird, you guys. This is, this is messy. This, 
this person packing, I don't know, they might have had a hangover that day. So I'm, I'm thinking they were, they were, they were taking too many shots from the fair friends' shot glass tray for sure. That thing wanted to pop up when I put the epoxy on it. Let's see. I'm going to turn it this way and get the bigger petals down here. So maybe just the shorter petals have to come up. Maybe that'll hold better. This one. I'm going to lay it this way here. Like that. It's looking pretty good. Maybe just a couple more. So with these, it um, doesn't take nearly as long to lay out. Let's just put that there like that. Let's get this one here. It's pretty. Pull it off. I will save these two, even though they're a bit messy looking. I, I will save them. And then, that's the front. I'll just lay that one there, scooch this over a little bit. There we go. And I would say that's probably about it. Now, this just keeps coming up. So when I pour it, I could take a little stick and hold it and pour on it. And then now what's gonna happen is it'll pour like this and then this part will be left over and, and if I keep it all clear right here, it won't get lost. But if I do a background color, it could get lost, but that's okay. I'm gonna mix up my epoxy and the question is how much? So I did five ounces on the first one for here. And as you can see for the first layer, cause I usually do a back coat. As you can see, this is hardly a layer on the second one. This five ounces was too much, should have been four. This is a much smaller tray, so I think three ounces to start is gonna be fantastico. So we will do the three. I take this little dude here, put hot water in it. I am using extreme resin right now because it was affordable and it sure seems to work fine. But of course, as you know, the curing agent is awesome. And in, in it's a one-to-one, -one, but the epoxy itself flows pretty slow. So I'll measure it out and then I'll put it in hot water for 10 minutes to get it uh, moving and get a little bit of the bubbles out. And then I'll add the curing agent and mix it together and I'll be back to show you all. But first, let me show you this glitter that I got. Oh, Moo, you're being so good. There were two kinds. There was this one. Look at this, you guys. Is that gorgeous or what? This one is called, it's extra fine. It's by Reflections. It's got a little bit of green in it. Oh, it's called Daffodil. This one's Daffodil. There might have been one that like called like Golden Sunflower or something, and it was a little more gold than this, but this is pretty yellow, but oh la la. I think it is so pretty, and it's a very, very fine glitter. This one here on this has some fine, but also has some thick, and I got a lot of glitter on that flower, underneath that flower. That was one of the flower, this is one of the flowers with the thick stem, and so the glitter got underneath it instead of behind it. But, so we're gonna see what's gonna happen with this fine glitter, but I am gonna add this into it. What you wanna do in your first layer is, is get your flowers covered. Um, and the reason why you wanna do a clear layer at first is because you want the flowers to show. If you wanna do a background color an offset color and you stick it in there, it's libel, libel, libel. Oh God, I'm watching too many uh, law videos. It's likely, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's likely to just envelop the flower. Like you won't even know it was there. You know what I mean? Like, like when you lose your sunglasses in the lake. You know, they go down a few feet and 
Can't find them. No, I can't see them. All right, I'll be back for the pour. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. TMI, I know. Thanks for joining me. Okay, I've mixed the epoxy and um, maybe you guys have an easier way. Of, there's a piece of paper in there. So that's another thing tweezers are good for. So we're trying to rip that out of there. This is a glitter dust. So it's a very fine, which is cool. Um, it does have some sparkle on it, very pretty. So one, let's mix in two scoops, two of these little scoops and see how it looks. It's super fine. I, I thought about just putting it in there, but I wasn't sure about that. So, okay. Uh, it's super fine, so you can see it's not doing a lot. I kind of want a little bit more of a shimmer to it, so I think I'll add a couple more. I've got three ounces total, so you might want to write that down if you're going to buy these. Um, when I bought these, I, I bought them on Amazon, and I got a round one and a square one. So these are nice because they're compact and they don't take as much. Yeah, I like that better. See that right there? I'm liking that better. So warmed up the epoxy. It's going to pour easy. And um, I think it's just barely going to cover the flowers, but we'll see. It's three ounces. I have a hard time judging this stuff sometimes. Really do. So let's just see what happens guys I always like to start up here because I don't ever want to cover this part that makes where the hole is where you can hang it up if you want to so um, I like to just start right there and bringing it down and remember this flower right here was a bit of a pain it didn't want to stick so okay I've got that covered he's anchored in and just want to make sure I get all this stuff anchored down with a clear coat. It's going well. It's looking like everything is covered. And I did not, okay, I did good on this one. So this is what you want. You want to do the three ounces because Oh God, I hope I don't go over the top because you're not going to cover this part. You were going to cover this part on your second coat. Okay. And if you're not sure if you want to make it clear or not, you know, it's okay to do two clear coats. If you want, okay, it's about ready to go over right there. Dang. Okay. I pushed it. I pushed it. Um, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but this little flower that was by itself started floating. That's the thing about when you get them by themselves. Now, the rest of these pretty much stayed where I wanted them to be. See, it's right there. And it's going to be, it's floating up to the top. These stay down pretty good, but these little baby's breath ones kind of float up, but it's okay. But what you can do too is you can kind of, if you want to move the stem so that it's behind the flower more. You can do that, see? Just very gently move it. I'm not gonna move that one because it just has, it's gonna have a mind of its own. But if you feel the need, like, okay, you know, you wanna kind of reposition it a little bit, um, you can do that. I wouldn't recommend trying to get a flower that's at the bottom and doing it because you could tear the flower apart. All right? The last step is gonna be to pop the bubbles and then we're gonna cover it but you do have to pop your bubbles. So I just kind of go around real quick and then I just give it a second so that I don't heat up the, I can feel a little warmth there. So I don't heat up the, um, the sili silicone tray. See a little bit of green shimmer as I move the light on it. It's very light, but there's yellow in there too. You're just not really seeing it right now. It's very pretty. Um, see you tomorrow when we're gonna add 
the background color. So. Hi creators, how are you doing tonight? Okay, I'm home from work. This guy's turned out so good. I didn't want to, let's see. Can I get the light on? Can I get some light on it and show you? Can I, can I, can I? Can I show you? Can I show you how pretty it looks, huh? Can you see the glitter in there? Can you, can you, can you? I hope so. I hope you're seeing the shimmer. We got some shimmer, shimmer. So, um, yeah. Okay, so here's the black. It's just so springy. I just feel like no. I feel like no on the black. I hope I don't regret it. I feel like yes. Yes on this pretty gold right here. This gold says yes. This gold here, see the difference? I'm wondering what you guys would say. So I put this here like this. I don't know, should I do this? I mean, people could have this in their kitchen or, you know what I mean? Like sometimes people have that color. Maybe I will. I actually thought of doing this because it was light and more springy, but you know what? Maybe this, maybe I will do this. I'm gonna do another three ounces. It's gonna be six total. So we're gonna do three for the background. Okay, so just in case a couple of you are beginners, this is a great beginner tray to do the flowers. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to mix up. That's the epoxy resin. So I heated it up 500, or not 500, 50 mLs, a little over, about an ounce and a half. Each one's that much. So now I'm going to add the hardener to it. The hardener's the stinky part, typically. And um, it is always that smooth. And I'm going to kind of scrape it down in there. Okay, I just want to show you guys in case you're beginners. If you're not, you can skip it. So, can you see, when I go like that, can you see that swirl in there? Can you see that cloud? Let me see, am I doing it right? Let me get it right up under there for you guys. I want you to see this. This is so helpful when you're learning to pour epoxy. Is that bright enough for you guys? You see that swirl in there? See how it looks like it's making a swirl like, getting kind of cloudy? That's as it starts to mix. That's what it's supposed to do. Now, it's pretty well mixed into a cloud. See the difference? Cloudy now. So, I'll keep stirring it. Now it's not quite as cloudy as it was, but it still needs to be mixed. We just keep mixing it. And here you can see it's getting clear again. So I just took a picture of it, duplicated it so you could see that's what it looks like when it's mixed. When you use acrylic paint, it's different than using ink. You can, I want to show you how much to put in. I, that stick is messy, so. Okay, I'm gonna go like that. Drop it in there a little bit. I think I'll drop in a little bit more. Not like that. See how thick that is right there? Okay. Let's take this out. And let's stir it up. That's about all you need. Very little. And looks a little opaque, you know, as I drip it down, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be a real strong background because it's so springy and pretty, but yeah, I'd say that that's good. All right, let's go around. Okay. 
I'm gonna go around the edges. Just go nice and slow and smooth. Now, if you wanna have a design, you can twirl it all around and stuff and have more of a design. I just want it to go pretty smooth here. And it looks like three ounces is just right. I don't want it to go over that. So I may have a bit left over, which is fine because I don't want to ruin it. It's looking right up to the top now. Can you see the white? It looks like a foam. Like, you know, when the ocean splashes up, it looks like a foam. Let me see if I'm seeing it in the camera. Yeah, I am. Those are bubbles. So let's give them a little pop. Okay, watch them disappear. Isn't that fun? I love doing that. <laughs> it's satisfying. So there's some bubbles. And I'll wait a few more minutes and I'll do it again. And then the next time you see it, it will be the reveal. Okay, guys, you ready for the reveal? Are you ready? I just took the box off of it. I just got home from work a few minutes ago, or a little bit ago. Okay, so here we can see. I got to kind of, let's see what I'm showing you guys. Okay, all right, there it is. Um, it's nice and smooth. I don't know if I can show you that. I'll get a bunch of light on there. It's nice and smooth. Okay, all right, I don't want you to have that light thing on it. If I bring it up, is that on there? Okay, all right, so, you know, I like to do this part first, so I'm push it a little bit. I filled that right up to the brim. Usually this one just pops out super easy, see that? See how easy that popped out? All right, and then let's, oh, let's see how it looks. Peel it back a little bit right here. It seems a little, oh, seems a little stuck right there, you guys. What's, oh, what's going on? Oh, the silicone's stuck to it right there, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is, gonna, this is the first time for me to have to deal with this. Sorry about that noise. That's my little moo kitty. Come on. right in there. Well, I guess that's enough of that tray. I know that they don't last forever, but I bet you I won't, I've poured less than 10 in there. I watched all kinds of YouTube videos, you guys. I soaked it in water. I took my tweezers and scraped it. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, actually I do, I have a solution. Okay, uh, there's no point in sharing with you guys all the video of me trying to fix it. I was just sick to my stomach, but there's some orange mica and I thought maybe that'll look good, but I really didn't know. Um, and then I add a little bit of bronze mocha or brownish, not mocha, mica little bit of brownish mica into the orange and I don't even remember doing that. I was so upset that I ruined this thing. Um, so I mix it. I'm going to pour it in there and then I'm also going to share with you guys what not to do with your silicone tray. But first I will say what number one, what not to do with your silicone tray. Don't use a torch on it. Just don't use a heat gun. Number one, just use a heat gun and be very careful with it on the back side of the shot glass, where it holds the shot glass, because when I don't put a layer on top of that before the second layer, there's not a very thick layer. And what happened is the mold 
fused to the epoxy because I heated it up way too much. Oh, you know why I don't remember putting any brown mica in there? <laughs> because as I watch this video, I see it's glitter. I put some gold glitter in there. So I put a different color of glitter than what's in the rest of the tray because, um, well, I'm trying to kind of keep it fluid with the glitter, but also create a little bit of difference there in the bottom of the tray. I'm being really careful with this because I want to put the least amount that I have to, to cover it. So I'm just going to pour it in nice and slow. And of course I have to eyeball it. There's no measurement to this part. And now I'll use my heat gun to get out the bubbles because no more torch on the epoxy resin molds. Here it is. It looks pretty good so far. So I'll cover it up and then we'll take a look at it the next day. One more day. Thanks for sticking with me. Okay guys, it's Thursday night, my Friday night. Here's my box. Let's lift it up and see what we have. So here it is up close. I think my solution worked. Um, and the glitter is really pretty. If you put it in low light, the glitter actually has like a blue tint to it. It's a trip. Very pretty. I like the sparkle. I like how the inside turned out. It actually worked out uh, to my surprise. I'm very glad that it did because, as you can see, I put a lot of work into it. One thing I learned is you always want to use a heat gun when you're taking the bubbles out um, with your epoxy resin molds, okay? With your silicone molds. Don't use the torch. I used to use a heat gun all the time, then I bought a torch, and then I started using a torch for everything. So, no, no torch on the silicone molds. And as you can see, um, this did work out. The shot, glass, shot glasses are fitting in there just fine, and they didn't spill out. I am so glad about that. The best advice I found was a lady who only works with silicone molds and epoxy. She said, buy a round silicone mold that you only use for popping the bubbles. What she said was, and here's a couple that I just found. She said, after you mix up your epoxy, it's all mixed up, put it into the bowl, the mold, and then add your glitter, or whatever, your paints, your inks, whatever it is you need to add and let it sit in there and pop your bubbles in there. Only use it for popping your bubbles and then pour from the bowl into your mold after you've popped the bubbles. 
then maybe you only have to just to give it one little light go over with your heat gun and it will save your tray. Also, don't use alcohol to clean your trays. Use a baby wipe. So those are the changes that I'll be making moving forward. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and please subscribe for more um, more of my journey on this art thing that I'm doing. Love you guys.